Faye, how are you? You look lovely. How are you? How are lovely, you? Lovely, lovely. Hey, what? Sorry what, about that. What happened at the end? Was it, was it, did the oh, card I'm, say I'm Emma not going to speak of that. Warren is the right one. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Beatty, I have to ask you, what happened? I don't know. My goodness. Yeah. How do you recover from that? Very you graciously, just, by I the way. You guys, it. you were very gracious. I appreciate up there. it. Um, what? I mean, it, I, I, have you even comprehended this yet? Kind of. Not entirely. Uh, it was a really surreal moment. But the moment I saw the, because they were looking for the best picture card, right. and eventually they found it and opened it, it said Moonlight. What and happened I saw that, though? I don't know. Uh, you know, obviously La La Land's name was red, and we went up there and started accepting the award. And they'd handed me an envelope, but you know, when the guy with the, uh, the headphones on right. asked me for the envelope I was holding, he opened it and it was the best actress envelope. You was, gave a moving speech and a. I got to thank my wife and my yeah. son. I got to, I got to accept an Academy Award and oh. then I got to give an Academy Award to my good friends from Moonlight. So, oh, no. you know, it's like I got to be an I got to be a winner and a presenter. It was a real twofer of a night. Was it a little chaotic there at the end? I mean, I mean, clearly it was a little chaotic. But you know, I make movies. These things happen. You know, I'll give a bad direction to an actor. A light will phase. You know. It's, it's, a, it's, it's human, you know, things yeah. happen. Uh, I will say, though, uh, because we spent so much time with the La La Land crew, I've gotten to know those guys, you know. I'm, it's pretty clear I've said very favorable things about the movie and about Damon, and, and they have about us. So it was uh, it was almost like uh, witnessing something happen to a family member. Sure. Um, and so um, ultimately the result uh, was positive for us, but, um, you know, I just felt uh, extreme compassion uh, for Jordan. And I'm pretty sure the first thing I did was to go up on stage and give him a hug. Well, yeah. What was that feeling like, though? Was it was it chaotic? Was it confusing? No, I mean, you know, they call all in. We were, like, appreciative for it because, I mean, we know those guys. We've been on this journey with them for the past sure. four or five months, so we were happy for them. I was a little bummed, honestly, because, I mean, we put our heart and soul into this film. Yeah, totally. We wanted to win, obviously, totally, and totally. you always want to win. But, uh... We're happy for him, and then what happened happened. What was that moment like? It was like watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> I mean, that that was crazy. I I, I I literally thought it was it was part of Jimmy Kimmel's. That's what, that's what we all thought, and then we thought it's going on way too long. Yeah, and what made it even more confusing is the guy who came on with the envelope looks a bit like Matt Damon. <laughs> So, so you thought, guy, this is an inappropriate moment to be doing a, a bit, but absolutely um, a tough, tough way to find out you lost for, for La La Land, and tough way to to find out you won for sure. Moonlight. They couldn't fully uh, appreciate it, but it's an, a historic moment. Yes, it in is in Oscar history, and we can all say we were there for it. I'll tell you, they were talking. They were La La Land was accepting, and I heard somebody with a headset really close by them saying the Moonlight. Moonlight, a little too loud. I was like, why are they saying that? It's rude during the speech. And I thought, maybe they played the wrong song. And I thought, who cares? Just go on with it. And then I went, oh, no. I was like, I looked at the guy next to me. I was like, is this really happening? Yeah, it was just, it was surreal. It was so intense. Yeah.